Hi, it's Sharon Sheldon here from Business Content PLR. And in this video, I'm going to show you a less stressful way to record PowerPoint videos by using a combination of Audacity, where you record your script and everything first, your audio, and then inserting it into your PowerPoint slides, and then recording that as a slideshow and a video. And that way you can sit back and relax and just click through at the right times without having to try and think about what you're saying, reading notes, looking at the slides, all clicking at the same time. So let's get started. I'm going to go into a presentation I have here that's from a course we created called Content Creation Mastery. And I picked just six slides from the beginning of the course and then edited the notes and the script a bit, um, taking some information from the guide and adding some transition sentences and other words in there to make it sound like me. So the first thing I want to do is prepare my script so that I have it easily in front of me for when I'm recording the actual video. And I like to use the handouts uh, that PowerPoint can, lets you create. So I just go into File up at the top left here. And then I go into Save and Send. And then a little further down at the bottom, you'll see something called Create Handouts. So you create handouts. And this is going to send something to Word. So you'll have it in Word with a combination of the slides and the notes you've put in or the script. So here I like to have my notes next to the slides. Now this is of course assuming that your script is you've written underneath each slide. If you have it in a separate Word document obviously this doesn't apply to you. So I'm going to click on OK and it's going to create a Word document for me which is not visible. I have to bring that up for you. Here it is. And what it's done is created a Word document where the slide is on one side, the notes are on the other. So when I actually record my video, I'll be able to just sit here, relax, and read through as I scroll through, no clicking on the slides. So let's give that a try. And the next thing I'm going to do then is record the audio. I'm going to use a free program called Audacity, which you can download and anyone can use. It's very simple. So I'm going to open that up. Um, Okay, so I brought up the Audacity pane here, the recording menu. And what you do is when you're ready to, ready to record, you'll click on this red record button. And then when you're done, you'll click on the stop. And all you have to do, I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. And all you'll have to do is go to the beginning of your script, click record, and start talking. So I click record and say, hi, it's Sharon Sheldon here from Business Content PLR. And this is the first video in our series on content creation. We created this course, blah, 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 blah. I would talk through, scroll down, talk through all the slides. And then when I'm done, I would just click on the stop button. Then you're going to need to save your file. You'll save it as a project so that it's saved as an actual um, Audacity project and you can go back and actually edit it if you want. And then to use it in PowerPoint, you'll click on File, Export, and you'll need to save it as an MP3 file. So save that to somewhere where you will remember where it is. So let's go back into PowerPoint now. Close this. I don't need these. And we're back in the presentation. So now we want to insert the audio. So I'm going to go into Insert. And into over on the right, we have Audio, Audio from File. You have your audio that you tested before. Hopefully, this is the right one. Click Insert. It's going to insert it right in the middle. Let's move that icon off the slide so that we don't have to see it. Looks like I might have left one there before. And then we want to make sure this plays across all the slides. So first, we're going to go into Playback. You'll have the audio tools open if you have this highlighted. So click on Playback. I like to have it start automatically when I open the slideshow. And then you have to make sure it plays across all the slides. And to do that, you go into Animations. Then go into the Animation pane. That opens up this little animation pane where you can control the different effects of your animations. Click on the down arrow next to your audio file. Then click on Effect Options. Now 
it starts playing from the beginning, but you want it to stop playing after the last slide, which in this case is six slides. Click OK. Close your pane. And now you're ready to record your slideshow. So you go into slideshow. And we're going to go and record slideshow. And what's going to happen is the audio will start right away. And all you have to do is sit back and click through each slide as you're listening. So you'd click when, you, when it's time to move on to the next slide. So all you're doing is listening, not thinking or too much or talking or anything. So I'm going to start recording from the beginning. And mine will come up, the preview on it, my other monitor, so you won't really see it. So I'll just click through a couple for you to see. You can record everything and start recording. Hi, it's Sharon Sheldon here from Disney. I don't know if you can hear me on the other screen, so I will just click through. We created this course to help you with one of the biggest challenges marketers face. And you can kind of read if you're seeing this. Let's take a look at what you're going to be learning. And now I just clicked through. I heard myself going to the next one. And then when I hear myself talking at the end of this slide that it's time to go to the next one, I'll click again and move on to the next one and it would go through. So let me just stop that so we don't have to listen to me talking. And when it's all done, you'll see that PowerPoint gives you the timings of each one and it'll save those timings so that you can now record this as a video and to do that we go into file and go into save and send and down near the bottom you have create a video you're going to want to keep the recorded timings and narrations and you click create video save it under some sort of name and this is uh, let's just call it I don't know demo 3 and click Save. And it will come up with a little bar at the bottom that shows you the progress as it's saving it as a video. And when it's all done, you'll have a Windows um, media file or media video, I think it's called, in, um, in, a, in your folder, wherever you were saving it. And then you can open that up in Camtasia to edit or convert it with something like Handbrake to another file format, upload it to YouTube, whatever you want to do with that video. So I hope that was helpful and that you'll give this a try. Enjoy.